Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today uh, we're going to talk about Bluetooth. Uh, you may be looking to make your PA speakers wireless in some form or fashion. Well, uh, Bluetooth is always a convenient way to do that or to add uh, streaming to any audio system. So here's a few of our uh, favorite products that we're going to walk you through and what they can do for you. All right, so Bluetooth way back when was something that we used to use in just cars and that kind of thing, but now it's becoming a key part of a lot of audio systems, whether pro or commercial. Um, sometimes, you know, we might have some devices at home that we want to be able to transmit wirelessly, or sometimes we just want to be able to stream uh, to a pro audio system or a home audio system or commercial audio system. Uh, we can do that now with Bluetooth. So um, we've got some uh, different Bluetooth devices here to take a look at. Uh, some of these are uh, Bluetooth uh, transmitters, some are Bluetooth receivers. We'll go over that a little bit more in a little bit. Uh, but basically, Bluetooth audio can uh, wireless, wirelessly connect uh, to either transmit audio to a device or receive audio from a personal device or something like that um, so that we can connect um, uh, audio systems wirelessly. So. A transmitter, Bluetooth audio transmitter, is used to connect a non-Bluetooth device with a Bluetooth device. So um, we can use that transmitter to say send the audio signal from a uh, you know, record player or something like that over to a home receiver uh, or back to a Bluetooth enabled mixer. Uh, a Bluetooth audio receiver does exactly the opposite. A uh, Bluetooth receiver allows you to plug in the receiver into your mixer, into your home receiver, into your commercial amplifier, and then Bluetooth from your personal device, your uh, tablet, your laptop, that kind of thing to stream music into your system. So do you in your application need a receiver or a transmitter? It's just going to depend on which direction we're working with, on which way you want it to send. Luckily, a lot of these devices will allow you to do both. Um, so first, we're going to go ahead and start off with the uh, HOSA IBT402 over here. Um, it actually has an option to be a transmitter or a receiver. There is a TX or an RX on the back here uh, that basically allows you to transmit or to receive. And then um, it has a, a has its uh, charging cable. Uh, also can transmit audio up to eight hours in transmit mode and receive for up to six hours in receiving mode. That's via the internal battery. So that's actually a battery uh, enabled Bluetooth receiver or transmitter. Uh, from there, we have the uh, Galaxy Audio JIB BT4 XLR. This opens up some of these families of XLR receivers where you can actually plug this into the input of a uh, mixer uh, right into the XLR input so that we can add that into um, our Pro Audio mixer, into the back of a powered speaker, into a commercial mixer amp, anything like that. Um, one of the, uh, the coolest things about that is it has um, it has a built-in pad, so you can actually knock that down to go into a mic level input if you need. Uh, and it has the ability to do um, stereo or mono with multiple of these devices. Also has 10 hours of battery life, so a good long time there. Next, we have the uh, Denon DN-200BR, uh, which is a stereo device. Uh, basically has uh, XLR or quarter inch outputs. This is a receiver only, it does not have the ability to transmit. Um, but also has an external antenna that has a magnet on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can get up to 82 feet of range with this device. Um, that's approximately 25 meters. That's going to be the longest range of any device I have here. So I'd use this more in a uh, house of worship or a uh, commercial application where you need long range um, or a gymnasium, something like that. That's going to be your best bet. Now, uh, the on stage stands BC2000 uh, comes actually in a stereo pair. So uh, you can stream stereo uh, to two different uh, receivers here, do one to one powered speaker, one to the other, and have a stereo pair. Or you can actually do it dual mono and um, pair to both of them. Uh, also has a very long battery life, once again, 12 hours of use. Um, and uh, also has a rechargeable battery to where you don't have to be tethered with the power cable there. 
Um, so very cool options here for any kind of Bluetooth application you might need. Uh, one thing you want to kind of look at is price. We do have different levels of devices available. There are also um, just, you know, kind of consumer grade level Bluetooth uh, streaming devices out there. You know, small little black cubes that you sit on the top of your uh, home receiver. These are going to be a little bit more pro audio level oriented what we have here. So we definitely want to make sure and fit our budget, but also keep in mind that we want to get a high quality uh, pro audio level device. Uh, we also then want to think about, do we need transmitting or receiving? Which way do we need to go? Uh, determines which device would be best for us. And then also, uh, we also want to think about range. Um, how far is it going to send? Also, some of these are different um, versions of Bluetooth. Bluetooth these days has different uh, versions of them updated. Uh, basically, the idea being we want to try and get Bluetooth the longest range with the highest quality as possible. So you want to kind of take that into consideration when reviewing. Once again, I'm Nathan. Drop us a line down below. Let us know you're watching or if we can help with any uh, particular topic you need help with. Uh, and until next time, guys, thanks for watching.